Hey, I'm back. And I am coming at you from my bedroom tonight. <laughs> that means everybody's home. The kids are home. But anyway, um, if you watched my first video, you know that I was having trouble getting the HCG ordered. And I think I kind of, sort of have it ordered. <laughs> we'll see. Um, my first, the order I placed and I talked to the lady on the phone and uh, she did everything she could, but it didn't go through. It was declined. I got the email and it was a prepaid visa, but it's the exchange rate. It's not good outside the U.S. So if you're going to pay with a prepaid visa, make sure it's good for international purchases. Um, mine's not. And it says so right on the card. So that was dumb to even try. But anyway, I tried. And it, and it got declined. So um, anyway, if you see me looking down, it's because I made notes. And I probably always will because even without HCG, I still get brain fog. <laughs> I get brain fog anyway. It's natural for me. So Lord help me when the HCG comes because... <laughs> I don't know what I'll be like then, but um. Anyway, I I placed I did place an order, but I had to mail a check, so it's gonna take a while. I'm gonna have to wait longer, but that's okay. Patience is a virtue, right? So. Anyway, oh, and it took extra postage. I wasn't sure. I went to the USPS.com, the website, and. I checked and even though it's a regular envelope it's going out of the country and it does take extra postage so um, it was a Sunday and it was late in the evening anyway but um, I, I just went ahead and put on the postage I had not postage stamps at home I just put on three of them because it took more than two but not quite three so there's extra postage on it but I don't care I didn't want to wait any longer so I just put it on I took it right up to the post office and I dropped it in the box and so it should have gone out Monday morning. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't know. It's Wednesday today. But um, I'm patiently waiting. Maybe not so patiently, but I'm trying to be patient. So anyway, just that's just a little FYI. If you, if you do mail a check, check to make sure you have enough postage before you drop it in the mail, or that's just going to be another unnecessary delay. Um, that, that could be prevented pretty easily. Um, I'd like to load March 1st and 2nd if it comes in time. I'm not sure. Today's January 25th. So we'll see. If, if I have it in time, that's what my plan is. Um, considering if Tom doesn't interfere with that. I'm not sure because I'm going to do sublingual, so I don't know that that's going to matter. Um, anybody wants to comment on that? If anybody watches this, <laughs> but um, I don't know if it if it doesn't come by then in time to do it then I'll just pick another day. No big deal. So um, anyway, I went grocery shopping on Monday, and um, I picked up a few more things for the protocol. Even though I have everything I need, really, um, I wanted a couple more things. So oh, what I get? I wrote it down. Uh, I picked up oh I picked up some of the wasa, is that how you say it wasa crisp bread. Thought maybe that'd be better than the mobile toast I don't know, but anyway I picked up some of that and some spices, uh, some of the Bragg liquid aminos I know, I saw on Del Mem's blogs that uh, or vlogs however you say that that uh, there's some recipes that call for that so I thought they sounded interesting so anyway I picked some up in case I decide to make that and picked up some Hershey's cocoa and some coconut oil just in case mm, just in case I can't control myself but I, I, I should be pretty good at controlling myself I'm not saying it's gonna be easy I know it won't but um, I got my mindset on this I really do so um, but if nothing else I, I will use that in phase three um, anyway uh, what else did I get? Oh, I got some chamomile tea bags. I've never had chamomile tea before. I think I'm going to have some tonight. I want to try it. Um, I said that the last two nights, too, I was going to have some, and I didn't. But I do. I think I'm going to have some of that tonight. I really, really like to try that. I like tea. So, anyway, um, 
Yeah, I also want to pick up some more hand lotion. There's this hand lotion I really like. Hey, screen save. Quit. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, uh, there's this hand lotion I really like, and it's oil-free. It's Corn Huskers Lotion. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of that before, but I get it at Walmart. And it's not very expensive, and it's really good. It's really good. Um, it works really well if, you're, if your skin gets dry and cracked. And I used to, I used to work at a meat packing plant and the meat was frozen um, and I was packing that all night and, and my hands you had gloves on but still it was so cold in there oh, that's why I hated it it's so cold in my house and I had to put a sweater on I've got a t-shirt on too but I had to throw a sweater on I just get so cold but I couldn't stand that oh, meat packing plant luckily I got laid off after a year and found a new job but um anyway my hands my fingers would crack they'd get so dry they would crack and bleed. And that's where I found out that somebody told me there to use that corn huskers lotion. And I tried it and it worked so good. And it, it, it just works really well and it's oil free. So I think I'll use it on my legs too because Ohio winters are kind of rough on the skin. And my legs get real dry and itchy and I can't stand it. But anyway, um, I think I'll get some of the Neutrogena oil free moisturizer for my face too. Um, other than that, I think I'm. I got absolutely everything I need once I pick up those few little things, but I, I can get started without them if I have to. But I'll pick them up in the next few days. Um, I really feel like I've already started my journey, even though I don't have my HCG yet, because uh, I've already committed to a lifestyle change, and I've already become more aware of just from watching the, the vlogs of other people and, and stuff like that. I've already become more aware of what I put in my mouth and what I f feed to my family. Um, sometimes I think, oh, God, what am I eating? What am I feeding to my family? You know, but anyway, um, you know, I used to be able to lose weight. I used to be able to lose weight on my own just by watching what I eat and and uh, just exercising and stuff like that, but. I can't do it anymore. It's just the last couple of years. I don't know. My hormones are all out of whack. So that's what I think I need my metabolism reset. Or I can't think of that H word. I, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyway. Oh, and I decided to start weighing myself every morning now before I start because. Um, just to see what my body does when I'm eating normal and with normal activity um, just to see what it does just to see how my weight fluctuates and just kind of take a note of what I eat and what happens to me um, because of it and uh, I'm, I'm just hoping that that'll help me out on my phase four I'll eventually I'll get to phase four so, uh, I just thought maybe that would help, you know, if I kind of get to know myself a little better. And, um, I'm not sure about the lighting. It looks kind of weird. Hmm. Let me back up. Don't look so bad. <laughs> okay, well, I'm starting to run short on time. And I don't, I don't know if I have too much more to say. Um, you know, I, I do want to just touch on it real quick. I only have less than a minute, but most of the vlogs I'm watching now are from a couple years ago and, um, I'm not a stalker or anything like that. So don't worry, but I find myself thinking about those people, you know, thinking, gosh, I wonder how they're doing now. And just wonder, wonder what the, how their families are and, you know, just stuff like that. And I'm thinking, gosh, I feel connected to these guys already. So just real quick, I want to say thank you because you've touched my life and I feel connected and you you've touched my life and you've captured my heart so if I can make just one person feel like that then it's all already worth it so anyway I have a subscriber now yeah I've got a couple subscribers so thank you thank you so much you're gonna keep me keep me in line hold me accountable okay gotta go over and out <laughs>